switched on is 96 volts RMS. Uh, the current is a little bit, you know, the, but I just don't think it's such a good idea being there. And besides, I would prefer it if I can um, not have the 240 volts going into it. Because one, it means I can't put it up on the shelf up there. Because the, uh, the power lead look, it sticks out the back, which means the whole thing will be pushed out. Uh, it would be better if it was just a, a wire coming out the back, and there's already a wire running up to this one, up to the, you know, up to the um, Gentech. Uh, so, 4.9 volts. Even though that's reversed. So that should be negative. Ha, ah, it's gone out again. It's this here. That, maybe, ah, oh, okay, right. Now we just got a dodgy connection. Let's turn that off. Oh, happy bloody days, honestly. Honestly, one thing then that's actually going to be sort itself out for today. Oh, let's put the last bit of sold on here. And get this baby to have a nice good old connection. Obviously it's not very happy with its connection. I'd like known it bang good as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I say, it's been one of them days. It's just been a rough day today. I don't know, you know, I don't know if you have days like that, but today has just been a rough day. Okay, well, fingers crossed, uh, that'll work. And we've got... Hello guys, I'm sorry about that. Just thought I'd throw you around. Oh dear, is that upside down? Is that the right way around? There we go. <laughs> So it does mean now that I can do a mission accomplished with uh, with this. So let's 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 check this. And we should have minus 12 volts. Minus 12 volts. We're drawing 100 milliamp. Positive 12 volts. Positive 12 volts. Positive 5 volts. Minus 5 volts. And positive 3.3. Happy days. There we go. So let's see if this is just going to pull apart. Yeah. A little bit of little cakes in. Okay, so that's that one from there. They're all to do with that. All we got here is the outputs here. The switch, the power switch. Uh, and that, so... I'll probably leave this in. And just disconnect it. Of course we're going to use the switch. I'm just not going to use... Good and on the board here. I don't know if you can see, but on the board it actually says what the voltages are. So we got 12 volt. Uh, middle one's ground. 
The one to the right is negative 12. And then the, this one here is 5 volts. Uh, and then the one on the outer ear is ground for the 5 volts. So that's going to make life easy. That's going to make life easy. Because I will probably cut these. Just in case I ever want to re reconnect easily. Take this out. Because we're not we don't want this. It's only held in with one screw anyway, look. I didn't think that was connected in the amount of lead lead that's on there. It didn't look like it was gonna to connect to it, but it is. So let me just disconnect this, disconnect that. And basically I'm hoping that would be so cool that it just fits. I mean it was only connected in one screw anyway that. Uh, and just for ease, I think I'm going to put it in this way around. Because that means that these leads can just quite easily go there. There's that screw from here, just to put it in some sort of place. I think it's probably going to be best just putting that one screw in here. I'm just going to put it like that just for now. And that's basically what it's going to look like in there. And then I can just put a hole, let's say here or even there and run this wire up to that point uh, I'll probably just put a, a hole just big enough for the cable to go through but you know tie a knot on it before I put it through just as that acts as a strain relief yeah like that And then I can make the connection on the other side. It's you know, I don't. It, it doesn't really matter, does it? Whether it's going to be. A, but that's basically how it's going to go. Then all I'm going to do is now is just connect these wires up, and I'll just touch solder on to these. I think, but I don't see the point in putting those um, these connectors on. I could do it on these headers, I suppose. I could put these in and fit if, no, I can't, because that means I've got to cut them and then there's going to be a solder thing then I suppose I could put some heat shrink on them and have those you know, fit across the top just so or just solder it straight to that board. That's all that board's going to be used for. So I think, you know, I'm just going to solder it straight to the board. I'm not going to mess about it. There's no point using all these things. I can save these for other things. There's no point. And then once I've done them in, I'll just check the, uh, the heat sinks on the... on the... Uh, on the ones that I'm using. There's no point putting them on the ones that I'm not using. Because they're not going to get hot. But that's it. So I'm not going to bore you with patting around doing that, but I'll show you it running. Uh, and then we'll do the voltage checks in and see if we've got any nasty 240 volt on the, uh, 212 volt on the, the NCs to ground. Well, enough, there would be.
Mm. Anyway, well, I'll come back when I come back. So I'm gonna you see the buzzer. Even though you can switch it off, I don't mind the buzzer as long as it's not too in your face. So all I'm gonna do with that is because I know that it's it's not terribly loud, but it is beep, and that's just gonna be annoying every time you press something, you know. Uh, but it would it'd be nice to have a little tiny bit of feedback. Yeah. So because there's no sticker, I'm gonna get a bit of this sticky stuff, like blue tack, but it's obviously not blue. Um, I'm just going to put that over it, <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's just shut it up. I've just done it down so it's just audible. Just audible is okay because you get the feedback. It's you know, pretty quiet in here when I'm doing stuff, so even if I'm using it to generate you know, frequencies and stuff, I'm going to be quite, quite quiet anyway. So, okay, right. So we're connected up. Um, the, this is going to be just the connection just for now coming through to the switch and I'm back to the positive side and there's the negative side coming straight into the negative here and these are all just poked through the holes basically and, and connected there uh, let's give it some power uh, what's that one? power supply is on 5 volts what should do shouldn't it? Uh, Okay, it's not doing anything dodgy. There we are. Um, it's pulling that down to three volts here, so I'm just going to turn that on. You only get about ten and a half volts, ten point five volts. But this is good from five volts to twenty-four volts. But what I'll do is I'll connect it directly into a twelve volt side, not go through the power supply, just go direct to twelve volts. So I've got to be a bit quiet because it's going to be a light in that one. Oh, I'll turn off the uh, assembly line as well, I think. Right, I don't know if you can see. This. As well, now we're going to get a whole bunch of voltage from the output. This was. Mm. That's ground. That's an AC. <laughs> 19 volts. Well, if it's bearing 98 volt, but I suppose that's because it's um, an AC output, it's on a sine wave, isn't it? <laughs> well, we actually get it. Definitely. 3.2 volt. RMS, that's about right, because it's 10 volt peak to peak. Okay, right. Uh, put on the. Nothing's warm in there. I'm going to put on the, uh, the heat sinks. And then call that a night, I think. I'm going to play with that drone for a little while. Hey, and now that's another solar powered piece of kit that I've got in here. Uh, just so you can hear this noise now that it makes. Very subtle. Very nice. Chuffle that. Right. 
Cheers for watching guys. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.